Okay, so the last field that we need to check for is um, the content itself. So this is, oh, sorry. This is no different. So what we just need to do is say dollar underscore post and we need to specify our contact underscore text. Now my text editor on line here seems to have gone a bit funny. So I'm just gonna save this file and I'm gonna close that and we're gonna reopen it in our plain text editor. So we're gonna have to deal with plain text for now, but that doesn't really matter. Okay, so now what we need to do is we've checked if we've set the contact name, we've checked if we've set the contact email, and we've checked if we've set the contact text. This doesn't mean that the value actually equals anything. So the next thing we need to do is we need to check whether these uh, fields are empty. Considering they're all required, we need them all to equal at least one value. So um, we are first of all going to set them into their own variable so we can use them a lot easier inside of our, um, inside of our if statement. So what we're gonna, I'm going to do is create an individual variable for each one. So contact underscore name. This can obviously be anything you like. Um, and then we say equals dollar underscore post. And then we say contact name. So what we're doing is we're just taking this variable here and we're putting it into a contact name. Now you might be asking why aren't we doing this outside of our if statement and the reason we're not doing this outside of our if statement is because this post might not be set uh, and we're going to get what's called an undefined index or an undefined variable error because we're, we're um, assuming this value exists before we've checked that they're set. So remember to always declare your variables inside after you've checked for them being set. So now I'm going to say contact email equals dollar underscore post contact email so we're doing exactly the same thing for each uh, value uh, that we're submitting uh, contact underscore text equals dollar underscore post contact underscore text okay so we've now got all uh, three variables from our form let's just go ahead and echo these out we can put an echo in front of here and what this is going to do is just going to echo out each value so if we click save changes and we come into here let's go ahead and click send you can see that the form has been submitted but nothing's happened with regard to PHP because we've checked using this is set language construct so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to type Alex my name um, uh, I'm going to type um, let's say my email address in here and uh, then I can just type a small message in here so hi for example now let's click send and see what happens Okay, so you can see that the first uh, variable has been picked up here, which is the na in the name field. And then here we've picked up the email address, and then here we've picked up the message. So let's go back to um, our editor. And let's get rid of this echo part here, because we don't actually want to echo them out to the user. Now after this, we can check for their existence. So we can check if they equal nothing. So let's go if not empty contact name and so we're using this and operator again not empty contact email so empty um, is basically checking if this value is equal to null and not is saying we don't want it to be empty so we're, we're, we're making sure this is equal to true by saying we don't want it to be empty so we're saying and not empty contact underscore text so uh, let's go down now and uh, we inside here we need to do something if these do exist or these do equal something so for now I'm just going to echo out okay okay so let's go and uh, try and submit the form without any data okay now let's put say a B and C in here click send and that's okay so that's worked um, what we can actually do is specify an error message uh, if this, if these are, are, or if one of them are empty. Well, in fact, no. These are going to be or because uh, what we're doing is we're checking if um, if uh, either of them or if if one out of the three of them is empty. So we need to use this or uh, instead of and. So I'm going to echo here. If else, I'm going to say um, all fields are ooh, required okay so let's click save changes and see what happens here so let's click send all fields are required 
Uh, now we can type A, B or C, or and C, and uh, click OK. So if we were just to type in A and B here, and we click send, um, oh, we're still getting, oh no, sorry, sorry. Uh, my mistake uh, completely, these should be and. Now the reason I got confused there, is because we were, what we would do is if this if this if statement was if empty if empty 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 we would say if empty contact name or empty contact email but we're saying not empty and we don't want any of them to be empty so many apologies for that okay so if they are not empty what do we want to do well that's easy we want to send an email to ourselves 